Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Georgia Pain Network. Today's topic is what you need to know about arthritis in your joints. Arthritis is the number one leading cause of disability in America. It affects over 50 million Americans. It involves inflammation of one or more of your joints, with the main symptoms being joint pain and stiffness, and typically it gets worse with age. There are two main types, osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear, and rheumatoid arthritis. So in osteoarthritis that is um, causing the cartilage to break down, uh, basically it becomes a ratio problem. You're just making it at the same rate you always did, but you're losing it faster. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease which actually targets the lining of your joints and starts to eat away at it. There are other types. There's a lot of other types of arthritis. Psoriatic, lupus, crystalline. There's a very long list of smaller, smaller types. So as mentioned, it's a ratio problem. Throughout life, we continue to make cartilage at a healthy rate. But as we age, we start to lose it faster, so we just can't keep up. Rheumatoid arthritis is not a hereditary thing. Women have it more often than men. It's an immune system uh, problem. It's making antibodies against your own tissues. Risk factors for arthritis include family history, increasing age. Females have more males than uh, greater than males for rheumatoid. Males greater than females for gout arthritis. Uh, Post-traumatic, if you damage your cartilage in your knee, for instance, from a car accident, you are more likely to have um, arthritis due to the biomechanical alterations that causes. And then obesity. Lots of studies have shown the correlation between obesity and arthritis. Symptoms may include pain, stiffness, swelling, decreased range of motion. There are quite a few non-operative treatment options for arthritis. The first and foremost one is activity avoidance. If you're a jogger, for instance, and it's causing you a lot of knee pain, you know, cut back on it or switch to something cross-training, cycling or swimming. Medications, either over-the-counter or for acute exacerbations, maybe narcotics, short-term. Uh, there's also topical prescription pain creams that work very well. A uh, brace or a cane. A uh, cane has been shown to decrease uh, the weight across the joint by 50% in the lower extremity. Physical therapy and chiropractic treatment may benefit along with acupuncture and TENS. There's been a lot of studies done on acupuncture for arthritis and pretty much all of them show excellent benefit. When it comes to interventional treatment options, steroid injections have been done for arthritic joints for decades. Um, and they work very well. Hyaluronic acid injections include Synvisc, Orthovisc, Hyalgan, those are the brand names. Prolotherapy has been helpful. PRP therapy and stem cell injections fall under the realm of regenerative medicine. Uh, those are modern, cutting edge, and small studies show them to work very well. Radiofrequency ablation is basically heating up uh, nerve endings around a joint to decrease pain. That works very well for um, facet joints of the back, sacroiliac joints, and it's expanding use into the knee and other, where, other places. The vast majority of patients are able to avoid surgery for arthritis or delay it with these non-operative treatments. Joint replacements are not meant to last forever. It is a quality of life procedure. Success rates with the steroid medication, hyaluronic acid, and the regenerative medicine injections are over 75%, and with the radiofrequency, it's over 80% effective. There was a large study done on topical pain creams of about 3,700 patients and showed they're 83% effective for all types of pain conditions such as arthritis. Thankfully, arthritis is not a deadly disease. It never killed anybody.